Hello booktube, it's Joshua here, and I'm doing a Poetry Thursday video. Uh, I've been going through the new Oxford Book of English Verse. Uh, I've been going through chronologically uh, for about a month now, and today we're doing uh, Sir Philip Sidney. Uh, here we are. Uh, he was born in the year 1554 and died 1586. Uh, and the first poem that I want to read you is called A Farewell. Here it is. Oft have I mused, but now at length I find why those that die, men say they do depart. Depart. O words so gentle to my mind, weakly did seem to paint death's ugly dart. But now the stars, with their strange course, do bind me one to leave, with whom I leave my heart. I hear a cry of spirits faint and blind, that, parting thus, my chiefest part, I part. Part of my life, the loathed part of me, part to me, lives to impart my weary clay some breath. But that good part, wherein all comforts be, now dead, doth show departure is a death, yea, worse than death. Death parts both woe and joy. From joy I part, still living in annoy. So that was a farewell, uh, seemingly mourning uh, a loved one. Uh, and, and the next poem is titled Voices at the Window. Uh, and this poem is a, is, a, is a call and response type poem. It's, it's well, it's separated into stanzas, into stanzas of five lines. And the first two um, are asking a question or, or saying some kind of statement and, and, and the, the, the last three are responding to it. So here it is, Voices at the Window. Who is it that this dark night underneath my window plaineth? It is one who from thy sight being, ah, exiled, disdaineth every other vulgar, vulgar light. Why, alas, and are you he? Be not yet those fancies changed. Dear, when you find change in me, though from me you be estranged, let my change to ruin be. Well, in absence this will die, leave to see and leave to wonder. Absence sure will help, if I can learn how myself to sunder from what in my heart doth lie. But time will these thoughts remove, time doth work what no man knoweth. Time doth, as the subject prove, with time still the affection groweth in the faithful tur turtle dove. What of you new beauties see? Will not, will not they stir new affection? I will think they pictures be, image-like of saints, of saints' perfection, poorly counterfeiting thee. But your reason's purest light bids you leave such minds to nourish. Dear, do reason no such spite. Never doth thy beauty flourish more than in my reason's sight. But the wrongs love bears will make love at length leave undertaking. No, the more fools it do shake, in a ground of so firm making, deeper still they drive the stake. Peace, I think that some give ear, come no more lest I get anger. Bliss, I will my bliss forbear, fearing, sweet, you to endanger but my soul shall harbor there. Well, be gone, be gone, I say, lest that Argus's eyes perceive you. O oh, unjustice, fortune's sway, which can make me thus to leave you, and from louts to run away. Uh, and that was, I, was, I, I like that poem. I think it's very unique. Um, and the last one that I want to read to you is, is titled, uh, it's a, it's a, title in Latin. Uh, I'm going to try to read it to you. Uh, Splendidus Longum Veladico Nugis. I have no idea if I pronounced that right, but I uh, entered the title into, into Google Translate and it came out with, I bid you a splendid long farewell. So I'm not sure that's accurate or not, but uh, I'll, I'll go with that for now. And here's the poem. Leave me, O love which reachest but to dust, and thou, my mind, aspire to higher things. 
grow rich in that which never taketh rust. Whatever fades, what fading pleasure brings. Draw in thy beams, and humble all thy might to that sweet yoke where lasting freedoms be, which breaks the clouds and opens forth the light that doth both shine and give us sight to see. O oh, take fast hold, let that light be thy guide in this small course which birth draws out to death, and think how evil becometh him to slide who seeketh heaven and comes of heavenly breath. Then farewell, world, thy uttermost I see. Eternal love, maintain thy life in me. And in this poem, I, I find it to be very ambiguous in its meaning. I don't really, ex I don't exactly know what it's talking about, but I, I like it. Um, uh, but that, that's probably all for today. I'm, uh, I'm keeping my commentary a little bit short just because I haven't really been feeling too good. Um, I, I don't think I have a cold, but I, it must just be spring allergies, but I've just been under the, under the weather a bit. So I'm going to end the video there. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the readings and I hope you guys all have a, a great day. Goodbye.